wiki.easyvid.com. Search EasyVid Wiki before you decide. This video discusses the New Deal and the importance of its program. The Works Progress Administration was created in 1935 to employ millions of unemployed people to carry out public work projects including the construction of public work buildings and roads. The WPA spent $13.4 billion and it ended in 1941. The Tennessee Valley Authority was established in 1933 in the Tennessee Valley region because the drastic effects the Great Depression had on the region. This authority helped to provide navigation, flood control, electricity generation, fertilizer manufacturing, and economic development. The Tennessee Valley Authority service area covers most of Tennessee, portions of Alabama, Mississippi, and Kentucky, and small slices of Georgia, North Carolina, and Virginia. This act is still around today. The Social Security Act was signed into law in August of 1935 to provide economic security for the elderly. Payments to recipients are financed by payroll tax on current workers' wages and contributions from employers. It still exists today, but there are doubts that it will last past the baby boom generation. To see all this stuff, go to wiki.easyvid.com and search for the New Deal programs or click beneath this video. The Public Works Administration was created in 1933 to help the public to gain more jobs in the construction industry. Unlike the WPA, it did not hire the unemployed directly. This provided funding for con the construction of more than 34,000 projects, including airports, large electricity generating dams, major warships for the Navy, and bridges, as well as 70% of the new schools and one-third of the hospitals built in 1933 through 1939. This continued until 1941, when it became time to get ready for World War II. The National Recovery Act was created to help bring the working class Americans and other businesses together in hopes of avoiding another depression. This act suspended antitrust laws and promoted the alliance of industries. Employees were given the right to form unions and to choose whether or not to be a part of one. Quotas, minimal wages, amongst other things, were created to help another depression from occurring. This act was ruled unconstitutional because it violated the separation of powers in 1935. The Homeowners Loan Corporation was created in 1933 to help homeowners refinance their homes in order to prevent foreclosures. Many individuals receive long-term loans through this agency. The Federal Security Agency was created in 1939 to help administer Social Security, federal education funding, and food and drug safety. The program ended after only 14 short years of implementation. The CWA was created for the unemployed people in hopes that it would provide higher paying jobs in the construction industry. Because this ended up costing the government more money than they thought it would, this quickly ended after a year. The CWA's workers laid 12 million feet of sewer pipe and built or improved 250,000 miles of roads, 40,000 schools, 3,700 playgrounds, and nearly 1,000 airports. To see all this stuff, go to wiki.easyvid.com and search for the New Deal programs or click beneath this video. The banking crisis of the 1930s forced the banks to retrieve mortgage payments because the banks needed the money. Borrowers were unable to refinance and were unable to make their payments because they were now unemployed. Thus, many citizens were forced to file for a foreclosure which caused the housing market to plummet. Banks collected the foreclosed homes forcing people out of their houses. Because the property values were so low, the banks were unable to recoup their money. The federal government stepped in to create the FHA, which improved housing standards and conditions, provide an adequate home financing system through the insurance of mortgage loans, and to stabilize the mortgage market.
The CCC was created by FDR in hopes of tackling the high unemployment rate in 1933. This program made jobs for the unemployed single male citizens of the United States and helped to keep them out of trouble during the worrying times of the Great Depression. Because of the American people's participation, the CCC was the most popular program implemented during the New Deal. The benefits to individuals who enrolled in the CCC included improved physical condition, heightened morale, and increased employability. Participants of the New Deal planted nearly 3 billion trees to help reforest America and constructed more than 800 parks nationwide. The CCC also upgraded state parks, forest fire fighting methods, and built a network of service buildings and public roadways in remote areas. The New Deal is a number of different programs that were made to help the United States population get through the Great Depression. The Great Depression started in October of 1929 and ended in 1939. The New Deal took place during the presidency of Franklin D. Roosevelt from 1933 to 1937. This gave the people reasons to trust the government because the people had a distrust of the government after losing everything. To see all this stuff, go to wiki.easyvid.com and search for the New Deal programs or click beneath this video.